So today I'm doing a comparison video between these two angle grinders. This is a 54 volt Dewalt 4.5 inch angle grinder and this is an 18 volt uh, Makita LXT angle grinder. I've also got a 2100 watt AEG 9 inch um, plug-in angle grinder and we're going to try them all for speed and see which one um, you know comes out best. I imagine it's going to be this one. Here we go. So we're going to see how long it takes each of these angle grinders to get through this 70 in null rebar. Here we go. There we go. I don't know what that was, but we'll find out after the video. Right. Here we go. Here's this 54 volt. These are using exactly the same discs in both angle grinders. So here we go. Holy. <laughs> the difference is absolutely night and day. All right, that only took a few seconds, literally for the 54 volt um, XR Flex. And this is brand new, this is only minutes old. Okay, so, now these are ticker disc, and uh, this is 2000, 2100 watts, AEG. Like this, I have this a long time, it's a great machine, it's, it's uh, very reliable, it's heavy, and it's plugged in. This is on 230 volts. Here we go. That's it, the 54 volt, definitely one out on this. Let's do this again. Now the little 18 volt LXT, this machine, it's okay, it does get the job done, but it's, it's slow, you wouldn't want to be cutting many. All right, but I've had this 12 years and it's been great, but I've had this a few minutes <laughs> and it's better. So here we go, let's try this again. There you go. That literally only took seconds, probably something like 10 seconds. We'll see you after the video. Right, let's do this. Okay, we've 2100 watts, 230 volts. It's, um, it's a ticker disc, obviously, but, um, you know, it's plugged in. 230 volts. Here we go. Okay, so there's nothing in it, you know, so if you're working on site, you, you can't plug in somewhere. I have to say, this is, um, this is brilliant. Now I'll check out the times in the video afterwards, you know, when I get to editing this video. But uh, as far as I can see, this is definitely as quick, maybe just a little bit quicker than that. I really pushed on, the, um, on that angle grinder, the, uh, the 230 volt one, you know, to drive it in, because it's got the horses to do it. And, uh, you know, it certainly cut it. But it was easier cutting, I didn't have to push as hard on, um, on the 54 volt machine. So these are expensive, you know, uh, I don't know, somewhere around 520, 530 pounds, I think. So it's probably up around 600 euro. Um, sometimes it's a special, you know, you buy one and you buy it for that sort of money and you get, you know, two batteries with it and you get one free, allegedly. But um, that was the deal with this one. So uh, the Makita, you know, a new version of that, 18 volt um, brushless, is somewhere around 230, 240 euro. And the AEG, I couldn't tell you, <laughs> I have it so long, but it's plugged in, it's very powerful, um, but obviously not portable. So that's it, the 54 volt Dewalt XR Flex, four and a half inch angle grinder, hammered the poor little LXT, four and a half inch or four inch, whatever it is, um, 18 volt angle grinder. Um, these are very expensive, Th these are about half the price, but um, you know, if you need power, you'd have to go for these ones. And it even met the, the plugged in nine inch angle grinder, the 2100 watt, 230 volt AEG angle grinder, and this bet it, you know, amazing. So look, if you're thinking of buying one, maybe check out the affiliate links below. If you like the video, please thumbs up. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind subscribing if you haven't already. And look, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck. Thanks.